Right, so let's have a little bit of fun in terms of what we're doing with the the signal that's being received by receiving here. You'll see over here, I've got a normally open and a normally closed uh, switch. This button over here controls the normally closed switch, which means if I press this one, it'll break the current to our oscillator and we no longer have a carrier wave. Remember, that's what it is. This is a carrier wave, the alternating current creating this alternating magnetic field, which again induces a current in our electrical component of our receiving antenna. If I let go, you'll see that on both on the oscilloscope and on the LED, you can see how the oscillator starts working again and the current is being induced. That used to be the very first part like uh, Gigilgo Marconi um, did. He, he actually com uh, communicated from transmitted to receiver using something which we call pulse duration modulation. Now, pulse duration modulation was simply a set of short bursts and longer bursts of the carrier wave. And in doing so, using what was known as a dot, which was a short burst, or a dash, which was a long, long burst, uh, one could encode literally a binary code, a, a let's call it a zero being the dot, and a dash being the one. He had a way of binary encoded the alphabet, for instance, by using this. So he would modulate the transmitted signal to create a varying received signal that could be decoded into some form of intelligence, such as, for instance, the alphabet. And Morse code was used to do this. Right, so I'm going to attach a little nano, uh, Arduino nano that I've got here. And we're going to do a little bit of modulation here and show you how we modulate the signal. Right, so what we've got here is we've got a little Arduino Nano. Now, the international distress call in Morse code is dot, 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 dash, 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 and again, dot, dot, dot. So now you can see I've attached the Oscillator now to our nano here, the output of our Arduino. And this is switching the carrier on and off. And then you will be able to see how, in sympathy with my little LED over there that's showing me when the when the pulse comes on, our, our receiving antenna, and you can see there there's nothing between our transmitting antenna and our receiving antenna. We're simply monitoring the current resistor, and on the oscilloscope you can see how the how it switches on. Now let me so there you can quite clearly see I've switched on both the current that's being generated in the transmitter and the current that's being received by the receiver, and there you can quite clearly see in sympathy with our modulator over here. And remember, this is pulse duration modulation. You can see there, there's our international distress call. So we are now placing intelligence on our transmitter receiver by virtue of, in this case, pulse duration modulation, the Morse code. So I'm signaling the international distress call, SOS. And you can see how we switch, we're switching the carrier on and off. Um, but 
you can you can see the point about it right so thank you for watching so that's modulation of, of course modulating in the modern world is a lot more complex but this shows the idea of how one would put intelligence on a carrier wave from a transmitting antenna through magnetic induction creating a received current which we can turn into intelligence so if somebody was sitting on the far end watching this led they'll be able to decode what this led was transmitting thank you for watching be sure to watch my other lectures on basic data communication as well as the basics of antennas thank you